things have not been very smooth and it has not been good in Brooklyn Nets land since their exit out of the playoffs in the first round against the Boston Celtics. And things could be looking to get a whole lot worse going forward into the offseason. What's going on, everybody? This is NYG Jeffy T, 3285, and I'm back here with another quick Brooklyn Nets video. And there have been reports today that have been coming out. Take it with a grain of salt. Don't go crazy with it. It's just the reports that have come out today, but that Kevin Durant has not spoken with any representatives from the Brooklyn Nets front office since the Brooklyn Nets got eliminated, I mean swept, by the Boston Celtics in the first round of the playoffs a few weeks ago. Now this can be a precursor to just Durant, maybe he's just on vacation, maybe he just wanted to get away, just, you know, enjoy himself, get the frustrations out of what happened this past season out of his head. Maybe there's been some internal, maybe there could be some internal conflict going on with the way the roster was put together. Maybe they just don't believe, maybe he just has a trouble believing in what Steve Nash is uh, dishing out right now to the, the players from the coaching staff standpoint. But I think a lot of it might have to do with the fact that there have been some recent reports out there that maybe the Brooklyn Nets might not be so inclined and keen to re-sign and bring back Kyrie Irving on a long-term deal. And we all know that when Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving signed their deals back in 2020, that these two were going to be a package deal and that they were going to be part of this Brooklyn Nets team together going forward. And the fact that there is not a 100% lock right now that Kyrie Irving will be a Brooklyn Net going into next season could mean that Kevin Durant might not be a lock to be a Brooklyn Net as well going into the 2022-2023 season. And if that ever happens, this could be avalanche level disaster. This could be a volcanic eruption type disaster. This could be as low, might even be, right now the, the trade back in the day with with what happened with Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Jason Terry coming over to the Nets when they, draft, when they traded all those draft picks and young talent for a chance to win a championship and it blew up in their face. This could actually go down, actually it will go down as a lot worse if they can't find a way to make sure that they run it back with Kyrie Irving because right now the best chances they have at winning a championship is with Kyrie Irving back in the fold. I hate to say it because there's really no option out there on this current free agent market, even in the trade market, that has the equal amount of talent. No matter how much of a distraction he is, and we all know Kyrie Irving could be a big time distraction as he was this past year. But the fact of the matter is, there's no player right now on the trade market, there's no player on the free agent market right now that has the amount of talent and can help this team stay at a championship level like Kyrie Irving can. And maybe that's what Kevin Durant is monitoring right now while he's preparing for what's going to happen in the offseason, is he's going to monitor how the Brooklyn Nets handle this Kyrie Irving situation, and in fact, if they do try to find a way to re-sign and bring him back and try to run it back with this core going forward. Because there's a lot of questions with this Nets team. I went over it in a previous video on my end of the season Nets undercover video that the Brooklyn Nets could be in line for some change going into the offseason. They need some help in terms of bigs. They need some wing defenders. They need some wing players that can hit the consistent three outside. But it's all going to come down to what's going to happen with Kyrie Irving. And Kevin Durant right now, if the Nets don't find a way or they decide that they would rather move on from Kyrie Irving and not deal with his headache, you might as well get ready to trade away Kevin Durant because there's no way Kevin Durant is going to stay on this Brooklyn Nets team with just himself and a bunch of young, unproven players, as well as a bunch of veterans that are either over the hill or just not good enough right now for this roster. So the Nets could be in the middle of a big-time, tumultuously tumultuous offseason, or this could actually be 
the biggest Nets offseason they've had, even bigger than when they signed Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, because right now they're at a crossroads. After what happened to them this past season where they got swept in the playoffs, the Brooklyn Nets have to try to find a way to put together themselves a championship-level team with Kevin Durant and with Kyrie Irving. Because this team is not going anywhere. With all the draft capital they trade away, with the young talent that they trade away, this team is going nowhere right now without Kyrie Irving and without Kevin Durant present on that team, on the court, in the locker room, moving forward. And if they mess this up, and if somehow Kyrie Irving is not on this team, and it forces Kevin Durant to move on and he's not on this team, the Brooklyn Nets are going to be remembered as the team that found a way to squander a big three and a chance to win a championship after all the events that have happened with the James Harden saga, with the Ben Simmons issues that happened this past season. It's going to be an absolute disaster beyond recognition if they can't find a way to come to some type of resolution with this Ben Simmons situation. With the, well, not only even with Ben Simmons, because Ben Simmons is coming off rehab right now after having back surgery. So who even really knows when he's going to be ready and he's going to play a factor in this whole situation too. But the Nets have to try to find a way. As much as Kyrie Irving is a distraction, he's the key to this offseason because if he's not back, you might as well just get rid of Durant because Durant's not going to be here either. He's not going to play on this team without Kyrie Irving present on this Nets team too. So it's just really a big question right now on what Sean Marks and that front office are going to do in terms of Kyrie Irving. Are they going to seriously think about moving on? Maybe do a sign and trade or something and trade Kyrie Irving away and maybe try to rebuild this team if they really believe that they're not winning a championship with this current core? Or are they going to try to re-sign Kyrie Irving Have him and Kevin Durant get their bodies right, get healthy, get ready for next season. Hopefully Ben Simmons is ready to go. Go into the offseason, try to get some more and better complementary pieces to this team. You get Joe Harris back from injury. You still have some guys on this, some young guys that could start to earn bigger roles on this roster. But right now it's just looking very ugly. Very, very ugly in terms of what's happening right now in this Nets offseason. With the Kevin Durant... Rumors that he has not spoken at all to anybody in the Nets front office. And that's maybe not as big of a deal at first. But if you really think about it with the way the past couple of seasons have gone for the Nets, it could actually end up being more of an internal issue than many might think. So hopefully in the end, and for the Nets' sake, and for the Nets' fans' sake, but for especially that whole entire area of Brooklyn, where the Nets have just started to feel like they've built themselves a fan base, To go through this type of turmoil right now would be absolutely catastrophic. Beyond catastrophic for the Brooklyn Nets. So the best thing to do right now is to go into this offseason, try to work with Kyrie Irving, hammer out a long-term deal, get him and Kevin Durant's minds right, get them healthy, get them ready for the season, and try to bring in and add some pieces to this Brooklyn Nets roster so they can be able to go out there and compete for a championship. Much better than they have the past couple of seasons where it's just been an out-and-out disaster and this team has failed miserably in trying to get to the expectations that this team put together when they first formed this super team that they have right now. So that's just my quick video right now. If you like what you see, please hit the like button on the bottom. And if subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeff ET 3285 for more breaking news and updates on the Brooklyn Nets, the New York Giants, the New York Mets, WWE Wrestling, and a couple of other little things like food for thought, as well as other life experiences that are going on. And please leave a comment below on what you would like to see the Nets do this offseason in terms of adding to this roster and how would you like to see the Kyrie Irving situation uh, handled. So please hit the like button on the bottom, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday afternoon slash evening. Hopefully the Nets are going to be able to get put this team together in a better way, and they're going to be able to go out there, and they're going to be able to put out a product that will make this Nets, fan, this, this Nets fan base proud, and they're going to be able to live up to the expectations that they've been putting on themselves since they formed the super team back in 2020. 
Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Have a great one. Let's go Brooklyn Nets. Take it easy and have a great rest of your day.